Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes Reacts. I am Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I'm Office Bloke Daz. And we are the Office Blokes. Yes. Indeed. Also known as the Wig Burners. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Hooker Kidnappers. <laughs> Hooker Kidnappers. Um, we've had a lot of requests under the comedy we've been doing so far. Yeah. Uh, Anthony Jesselnick, I think that's how you say his name. Mm -hmm. That's He's come up a few times. Yeah. Don't know this guy. No. Not sure. Who was the one you? Who was the one you introduced me to? He had a similar name to Jessel Nick. I think you introduced him to a comedian not long ago. I can't oh, remember his have name. Have we done a reaction to him? No, no. Anyway, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It, it definitely wasn't this guy. No. It don't ring a bell for me. Um, yeah, so a great reason not to be religious anymore. Don't need a reason in the UK. <laughs> no one's religious, are they? Really? Not that many. No. Uh, yeah, we'll get straight into it. Yeah. Hopefully, it's uh, along the lines of the stuff yeah. we've already been doing. Yeah. It's a school. American guy, yeah. I presume so. Yeah. With a name like that, you got to be. Got to be. Yeah. We just. Uh, yeah. We just found out my little brother has a peanut allergy. A peanut allergy, which is very serious, I know. But still, I feel like my parents are totally overreacting. They caught me eating a tiny little bag of airline peanuts, and they kicked me out of his funeral. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like some of you guys might be too nice to laugh at some of these jokes. <laughs> and that's okay, not everybody has a great sense of humor. <laughs> you guys will probably love my little nephew. He's like six years old, so cute. I talk to him every day on the phone. And he's unbelievable. He's got like the greatest imagination ever. He's either gonna be an incredible artist someday, or he really did get molested. <laughs> <laughs> You know, <laughs> I've, I've seen this guy before. Have you? Yeah, on Net Netflix. I'll have to have a look if he's on Netflix. <laughs> I wasn't even laughing about that one. I was thinking about what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need to say, like, I really believe this, that being a mother seems like one of the toughest jobs in the world, right? Like, literally, right below comedian. <laughs> <laughs> so to me, if a mother does her best, then in my book, she's a good mom, right? Now, my mom did her very best. Unfortunately, she was also a terrible person. <laughs> like, my mom, for most of her life, and this is true. My mom, for most of her life, was a Holocaust denier. Right? Wow. Does everybody know what that means? <laughs> I mean, she couldn't believe the Holocaust happened. It's like the worst thing you can be. And it was terrible for the entire family to have to deal with. Until finally, a couple of years ago, we had an intervention. And we had a rabbi come into the home had him walk her through the history of the Jewish people. And then he made her watch Schindler's List. And after that, my mom did a complete 180. Now, she can't believe it only happened once. I'm not a religious person. I would, uh, I would call myself an atheist. You know, I don't have a good story behind it. I'm just reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend, <laughs> my girlfriend has got like the greatest story behind why she's not religious anymore. So when she was a kid, like 12 years old, her parents nailed a 25 pound crucifix to the wall right above her bed. And about two weeks later, in the middle of the night, the crucifix falls off the wall and leaves a two-inch gash in the back of her dad's head. <laughs> 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 Using her. Ah, <laughs> that went straight over my head. <laughs> 
fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> Like, whether you laughed or not, you got to admit, that's a fucking great story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, that... <laughs> it went right over your head. Yeah, that, I didn't get it. I thought maybe she bashed him with it or something. <laughs> yeah. Fucking hell. I, that... That's what I thought at first, but then I thought, ah. <laughs> I like the storytelling side of comedy. Yeah. That, that's kind of more misdirection, isn't it? Yeah. That's, a, it's, which I that's do why like I remember. As soon as yeah. he started, I thought, I have seen this guy before. Yeah. Um, and I think it was me who told you about him a, right, time, okay. a while back. Yeah. And I said, I've seen this guy who was on Netflix and he's, he's proper right to the bone. And yeah. That, yeah. That, he was him. As soon as I seen him, I thought, that's him. As soon as he started talking. It's definitely to the bone, yeah, isn't he's it? Got, he's got, <laughs> the one I've seen on Netflix, I don't know if he was yeah. a special or whatever, but he was really, really funny. Yeah. And he was brutal. He started off with a real brutal. We'll have to try and get the Netflix one and put it on. Yeah. Because yeah. he started off with something that was proper brutal. And I thought, yeah. that's a great start. I'm yeah, such, a, yeah. Yeah. such a cynic with comics now. Whenever they start a sentence with, this is a true story, I'm just mm. like, I oh, fuck yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But that was good. Thanks for the request. Yeah. That. that was Cheers. good. That. Yeah. For that like, we like that. And it's, yeah. uh, I'm definitely going to find his Netflix special. I'm going to do that one because yeah. I remember it and it was Let's very, very funny. Yeah. yeah. So I hope you liked it too. Don't yep. forget, like and subscribe, hit the bell. Keep the request coming and we'll see you on the next one. Thank Cheers, you. Guys. Cheers, guys. <laughs>